Hi guys and respected viewers, welcome once again. In today's video, we will discuss a very interesting 9th grade area problem. We are given a diagram A, B, C, D which is a square, E, D, C, F is a rectangle and we have to show that the area of this yellow square is equal to the area of this rectangle E, D, C, F. So to prove that uh, area of this square is equal to area of this uh, rectangle F, E, D, C. Look at this parallelogram H, E, D, C. This parallelogram has an important role to prove these two areas equal. Here is the parallelogram H, E, D, C. And we can find the area of this parallelogram by using the formula base into height. If we take this as base, then this will be the height. From this, drop a perpendicular to this. From this, drop a perpendicular to this. So if this is the area, let us suppose this is P and this is Q. And if, if we take ED as base of the pilogram, then area of this pilogram will be base into height ED into PQ. And this is also perpendicular. Or we can say that if we extend it here, or we can draw perpendicular from here to here. And another method is if we draw, extend it, and draw perpendicular from here. So this will be the height of this and this time we have to consider this as base. So area of this uh, pilogram will be either ED into PQ or ED into CM. On the other hand, we can say the area of pilogram is equal to this base into this height, HE into H. So for this pilogram, H, E, D, C, area of this pilogram, we can take H, E into height. And height is what? This is the height. From this, from this D, draw perpendicular to the H, E extended. So, area, area will be, area of pilogram will be, area, parallelogram is equal to H E into D A or C B. Now because C D A B or A B C D is a square so all the four sides are equal. This is G. Now consider these two triangles H E F and C D G. So this angle is 90, this angle is 90. Since CD and BA are parallel, so this is parallel to this. This is, hence this is parallelogram. And this is also parallel to this. So definitely HEDC is a parallelogram. CD is parallel to this. And CD is parallel to this. CD is equal to HE. Opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. So CD is equal to HE. This is 90, this is 90. And this is equal to this because FEDG is a rectangle, so opposite sides are equal. So this side is equal to this side. And this is 90, this is 90. So these two triangles are congruent because of, we can say that right angle hypotenuse and side test. HE and CD are equal because opposite sides of pilogram. So these two triangles are congruent. It means, these, since these two triangles are congruent, means area of this triangle is equal to area of this triangle. If we cut this area from the pilogram and paste over here, just cut and paste over here. So it will be like, extend this, and this. You will see that this is nothing but a 
rectangle because this is equal to this cut and paste then this parallelogram reduces to this rectangle so finally we got that area of parallelogram is equal to area of this rectangle so area of parallelogram hedc is equal to area of rectangle edgf now area of this parallelogram is equal to he into da he is nothing but cd he and cd are equal and da since cd and da are equal cd into da means da into da so area of parallelogram is equal to cd into da which is either cd square or da square and that is area of square a b c d so we can say that area of square a b c d is equal to area of rectangle f e d g and hence proved